Well, we showed you earlier an incredible night for Elias Pettersson again on Monday. Four points against the New York Rangers. Now with William Nylander signing that extension Monday, what could this mean for Elias Pettersson given that he is a pending restricted free agent? With more and to discuss that very thing, here is our NHL analyst Marty Biron. First of all, Marty, you saw the details of the Nylander deal. Let me get your thoughts on that first. Yeah. Eight years, $11.5 million on the average annual value. How do, you, how do you like that deal for both sides? Well, first of all, I think it's a great deal for Willie Nealander, and I like it for the Leafs as well. It kind of sets themselves for the next few years. They got Matthews done. Now they get Nealander done. And now they get to know what they can do with Marner and Tavares in a year and a half from now. But I want to be William Nylander anytime I negotiate a new contract for myself, <laughs> right? I can't negotiate. I'm not good at it. But let's go back five years ago when Nylander was an RFA and he held out. He held out until the last potential day, December 1st, right before the five o'clock deadline. And then he signed a contract. And at the time we thought, well, it's kind of a team friendly contract. We thought Nylander was going to get more, but he really dug his heels in. And I really feel that the Leafs felt that, you know what, if we don't get Nylander done at some point, he is going to dig his heels in again and we're going to lose him as a UFA. Yep. And he's going to get more than the $11.5 million that he wants right now to remain a Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, I understand a lot of signing bonus, right? $69 million, uh, no movement clause and all of it. So those are big steps for the Leafs to take towards Willie Nylander, but he deserves and earned every single penny of that deal. He has been fantastic this year, and he's been fantastic for a few years now. So I think that's uh, not just this season, but the past that is helping Nylander in that. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna scare Canucks fans a little bit because we got to compare these two because <laughs> Patterson Marty since he came into the league in 2018 2019 has 26 more points yeah. than William Nylander does uh, in that span. Uh, you know they're different players, I get it, but how do you feel this Nylander deal might affect the negotiations between Vancouver and Elias Patterson? Well, obviously you're gonna compare, right? And it's hard to compare UFA and RFAs. I feel like there's more leverage when you're a restricted free agent like Elias Patterson is right now. Plus, he's a couple years younger. So for that alone, I think should deserve a little bit more money because their stats are very similar right now. I mean, Elias Patterson in the last three seasons got 90 goals. William Nylander's got 95. Patterson last year, 102 points, right? Nylander was 87. So Elias Pettersson is elite at, in the National Hockey League, and he's proven it last season. So, now, I thought, well, maybe Pettersson will be around the 11 to $11.5 million, uh, you know, on the AAV. And then I talked to a few experts around the National Hockey League today, and they're telling me, oh, I think the Vancouver Canucks would want to do it at $12 million right now because the more it goes, maybe that goes to $12.5 yep. million. I'm thinking, what? Listen, the record for an RFA was Connor McDavid at $12.5 million. And, like, Elias Pettersson can't get more than what Connor McDavid that got as an RFA, but maybe it's 12 because of the fact that he's a couple of years younger and he's already had a season over 100 points in the National Hockey League compared to Nylander, who never even broken 90. So um, I think this is, uh, you know, cha-ching for Elias Patterson. The longer he goes and the more this kind of settles down, the more the Vancouver Canucks will realize that they'll have to pay more than Nylander for Patterson. Marty, do you ever feel like you were born too early when you see these numbers? <laughs> um, no, because I feel like I was, you know, born later than the generation before. Fair enough. And I remember going to PA meetings and they always said, hey, you guys, look at what the generation before you did for you and look at what you're doing for the generation next, right? And the generation after that. So I'm happy. I'm happy for these guys. I still think goalies deserve to get paid a lot more than what they're getting right now. It's not 11, 12, or 13 millions. And they're the most important uh, player on the ice. Yes, I actually do agree with you on that one. But that is a discussion for another time because I want to get more into that with you for <laughs> sure. Uh, Canucks back in action on Tuesday against the New York Islanders. Always great to chat with you, Marty Verone. Have a great night. Have a good one.